We just needed a place to get away from it all. That was the reason why I decided to book a night's stay at the converted barn house in the Kent Downs, a part of England designated as an area of outstanding natural beauty and a part of the country that plenty of other people have enjoyed a quiet getaway in over the years. I've never been so far down south before, spending all my 39 years of life well north of Birmingham, excluding several trips abroad to sunnier climes. But I've well and truly hit the road today, as has my husband, Aidan, as we've made our way along the motorway from Yorkshire, navigated a few of the chaotic roads leading in and out of London and eventually made it into the county nicknamed the Garden of England. Such an illustrious title conjures up images of colourful flowers and rolling green hills, and that's mainly what I've seen through my passenger window as our car has moved through this area. There were plenty of pretty towns on the way that the pair of us could have stopped at for a snack and a chance to stretch our legs, but we kept going. And now we are very close to our final destination, which is the barn house we have rented for tonight for what could be considered quite an extortionate price. Then again, you get what you pay for, and we are more than happy to pay a little extra to get the kind of accommodation that suits our fairly demanding needs. This trip has been undertaken as more of a necessity than a random splurge, born of a desire for my partner and me to get away before things got too much and life consumed us. But doesn't everybody feel like that from time to time? Overwhelmed, exhausted, desperate for a change of scene and eager to disconnect from the real world for a limited amount of time. Aidan and I certainly felt that way, which is why I made this booking. And I'm glad I did, because I feel better already. And we're not even there yet. We're currently about 20 miles away from the barn house, having stopped at a service station to refuel and have a comfort break. Aidan has filled up the tank with petrol, and we've both visited the bathrooms here. But I'm the only one who is ready to get on the road again. My husband is still inside the service station because, much to my chagrin, he decided to go into one of the shops inside and buy snacks. I told him we didn't need them, but would he listen? 